Hello everyone, in this video we will be acting out chapter 5 of Miriam Halami's book Always Here For You. In this chapter, Holly and Jay start exchanging messages over a social media app online. Holly's messages will be read by me, Lily, Jay's messages will be read by Finn, and the narration in between is read by Sophie. Hope you enjoy. Hey Jay. I like your avatar. Pretty hair. Thanks. What are you doing? Nothing. Home alone. Bored. Yeah, me too. Mum out, as usual. And your dad? Disappeared years ago. Oh, sorry. Smiley emoji. It's okay. I'm used to it. Hang on. What? Thought I heard something. Back in a sec. Holly poked her head into the hallway, holding her breath, listening. Was that someone outside the front door? Mum, she called out in a small voice. The living room door creaked quietly. It was almost 10. Why was no one home? She looked back at her phone, face up on the counter. Messages streamed down the screen. Walking over, she grabbed it. Jay was messaging how worried he was. That's cute, she thought. Are you there? Be careful, Holly. Don't take any risks. I'm here, door creaking. So hate being home alone. Me too. Totally hate it. No way. Way. Holly laughed aloud and she felt her body relax as she sat back down at the kitchen table with her phone. Sometimes I imagine I'm Spider-Man hanging from the ceiling, keeping watch. If you're Spider-Man, what am I? A really, really nice girl. Shy, embarrassed emoji. So glad I met you. Me too. You friends with Amy? Yeah, a friend of yours? Best friend, but come to Canada. Oh, sorry. Miss her? Yep. Me too. My best friend's gone. Oh. Yeah, missing him. Horrible, isn't it? Yeah. His name was Mike. Did he move away? There was quite a long pause and Holly wondered if she'd said the wrong thing. But what could be bad about asking that? Then her screen lit up. Jay is typing. Mike died. Holly let out a gasp and stared at the screen in horror. Dead! OMG! What if Amy was dead? The thought made her shiver. At least Amy's safe, even if she's thousands of miles away in Canada, she told herself. Are you still there? Yes, sorry. Don't know what to say. Sorry, Holly. Stupid, stupid me. Must have been a shock. Bigger shock to you. You're so sweet. There was another pause. Holly stared at the screen, trying to imagine how it would feel to go to Amy's funeral. Her mind was wondering over the music they might play when Jay started typing again. Mike was killed in a car accident. Really bad. Everyone cried at the funeral. So bad. Sad emoji. Don't know how you're coping. Nearly a year ago, getting better. When did Amy leave? Just after New Year, six weeks tomorrow. But she can message you. Amy hardly ever messages. She sends pics of her boyfriend. Oh God. Yep. Makes me feel kind of left out. Cool. Not very kind of her. She's a good friend. Course, yeah, course she is. On my own a lot at school. Don't think she gets it. Should understand if she's your good mate. No one to hang with now. Yep, know how it feels. All alone now. Like me? Yep. Mum appeared at the kitchen door. Oh, here you are. I've been calling out. Didn't you hear me? Holly looked up and for a moment couldn't focus. Mum stared back at her, face puzzled, handbag tucked under her arm. She was wearing a loose, long sleeve top which was creased and there were tired lines under her eyes. Holly shook her head to clear it and focused a grin on her face. She didn't want to tell Mum who she was talking to. Not yet, she told herself. Just chatting, she said, swinging her phone in her hand. How's Gran? Holly listened as Mum chatted on about Gran's problems and how worried she was, but for once Holly found herself tuning out. 
All she really wanted to do was escape to her room and go on chatting to Jay. She hadn't felt so excited about anything for weeks. Mum boiled the kettle while she talked and made them both tea. Holly muttered her thanks, her eyes glued to the screen. When's your birthday? Jan 26th. No way, I'm Jan 25th. Holly hesitated. Should she tell him how old she really was, or lie like when she was started at 16? She decided to take the risk and a thrill went through her. When was the last time she felt so fizzy and fired up? I'm 14. Wow, me too. Favourite colour? Blue. Snap. Pets? Hate animals. All my family the same. OMG, us too. Never had pets. Tongue out emoji. Scream emoji. Love emojis. Cartoon sticker boy shouting, yes! Holly laughed out loud. What is it, darling? Mum called out from the other side of the table. Holly looked up as if emerging from a dream. Mum was grinning at her, buttering toast, then laying it out on plates for both of them. Her phone was on the table next to her, and before Holly could say anything, it pinged. Mum stared at the screen. It's Dad, rats! He won't be home tonight after all. He's too tired to drive, so he stopped over at a hotel. Uh-huh, murmured Holly. She was scrolling through the cartoon stickers, looking for a good one to send back to Jay. Found it, she said out loud. Sticker. Grinning girl saying giggle. You rock. Earth to Holly. It was Mum. Focus, please. How was dinner at the Levi's? Okay. Holly didn't look up from the screen. Messages from Jay poured in and she could hardly keep up. If only Mum would go to bed or something. Did they talk about the bar mitzvah? Linda told me all about it. Her sister's youngest, Ben. Linda had to get all the boys new suits. Of course, she's been through it four times already. Mum finished with a laugh. Holly nodded, shoulders hunched, eyes down, tapping her screen. What did she make for dinner? Mum went on as she poured tea. She's such a good cook. Always bakes a cake for book group. Lasagna, muttered Holly without looking up. They don't keep kosher or anything. Linda says they're modern Jewish, says Mum. Holly, are you listening? Mm, said Holly. But they take their bar mitzvahs very seriously. Did Linda say anything about the lunch? Her sister's having terrible trouble with the caterers. Holly didn't answer. Holly, what? Snapped Holly in an irritated voice. All right, no need to bite my head off, said Mum with a surprised look. I don't know what's got into you tonight. Linda said they have a big lunch after synagogue and then the kids have a party in the evening. Cost a fortune. What did Noah say about it? Holly sighed and dragged her eyes up from the screen, fingers poised. He has to make his speech and he's dreading it and those horrible brothers of his. The twins, or Gideon. Gideon's okay, but the twins are gross. They teased Noah and said he made a mess of it. You know he cries all the time. She rolled her eyes. Mum gave Holly a hard stare. Linda's quite worried about Noah, she said. Holly shrugged. She'd never spoken to Noah before Amy disappeared. She thinks he's being bullied at school, Mum went on. So I said you'd keep an eye out for him, okay? Holly's phone pinged over and over. She pushed, pushed her chair back and stood up. Yep, if you say so, better go up. Getting late. She turned to go, but Mum came round the table and laid a hand on her. It felt so warm and gentle. Holly stopped. It was a long time since Mum had hugged her. Probably because I'm 14 now, she told herself. I know you're missing Amy, darling. Mum started. Holly's phone pinged twice. You'll make a new best friend soon, and for now... I'm just asking you to be kind to Noah. You've always been such a kind girl. Holly's phone pinged. Sounds like you have some new friends already, said Mum, and Holly could see she wanted to settle down with a cup of tea and hear all about it. No way, Holly thought and shook herself free. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, night then. Ignoring the puzzled look on Mum's face, she sprinted off upstairs, her feet as light as if they were gliding on air, and going into her bedroom, she closed the door and threw herself onto the bed. I'm all yours, Jay, she thought, a warm feeling spreading through her. You still there? Yep, Mum came in. I'm not home for hours. It's 10.30. She's partying. Wow. They messaged until after midnight. Holly's eyes were almost closing. You sleepy? A bit. Okay, chat later. Yep, night, Jay. Nice night. Holly woke with a start. 
Her clock said 3.10 and outside her window the sky was dark and clear. She could see a couple of stars shining. Her phone was pinging and pinging. She picked it up and stared at the screen, rubbing sleep from her eyes. You awake? I can't sleep. Yep, I'm here. Cool. So lonely here. OMG, your mum not home? Nope. That's horrible. Mine came back at 10. That was late. Get scared home alone sometimes. Snap. I'm not brave like some boys. I'm here. Smile emoji. Sorry if I woke you up. No one else to talk to. Jay is typing. Thinking of Mike. So sorry. Maybe because you told me? I think so. I don't want to make you sad. No way. You make me feel happy, Holly. Laughing emoji. You can talk to me about anything. Glad you woke me. Never met a girl like you. Lucky me. Smile emoji. Amy never messaged like this. All night? Lol. We had sleepovers, but it's not the same. Not on a school night, but can message anytime. Yep, and say anything. Anything at all. She had no idea what time she finally fell asleep. Then Mum was coming in with a cup of tea. Wake up, sleepyhead, said Mum. Holly's phone pinged twice as she pushed her hair out of her eyes and smiled to herself. That was Jay, she was pretty sure. She could hardly wait for Mum to leave the room to grab her phone and read the messages that streamed down the screen. Jay's in my life now. I'm not alone anymore, she told herself.